what is up guys this is Zach from Anglers and Escaping today I'm at Walmart I'm picking out a couple beginner fishing kits and I want to pick out the best one for you guys and then we're gonna try it out so right here I picked out two kits from Arky these are common in Walmarts but I'm gonna go ahead and probably go with this one because one it has weights which is a must-have two it's got this inline spinner which I think will work really good for bass this one doesn't have the weights it doesn't have the inline spinner so we're gonna go with this tackle kit right here it's got the bobbers it's got the hooks it's got the weights and it has some lures a stringer so I think it has everything we need but we'll go ahead and test it out on the water and see if we can't catch some bluegill probably some bass maybe some other fish species as well so let's go ahead and get out on the water all right guys so i have the walmart starter tackle kit right here and i also picked up a thing of night crawlers these are excellent from walmart about any fish species will take them i'm here at a local pond we'll see if we can't catch some fish using just this tackle kit and some of these worms that we got from walmart all right guys so i used that box to set up a catfishing rig it had all the stuff i needed so basically i have my pole with 12 pound test line i took one of the egg sinkers out of there and then i grabbed one of the swivels out of the box and basically did a Carolina rig for the catfish. So what I've done here is I have a free sliding egg sinker. I have my swivel and then about a foot and a half down from that I have my bait. And so right here I grabbed a hook out of the box and then half of a night crawler that I got from Walmart. Now if you're ever finding your baits being stolen a lot, your hook size or your bait size is usually too big and you need to downsize a little bit. But you can see I got that worm threaded on there really nicely. Why this Carolina rig is so nice is when I cast it out when that catfish takes this worm or this bait down here and he starts pulling, he doesn't feel the resistance of the weight and I'll catch more fish. Now catfish are usually on the bottom, which is why I'm not using a bobber. But if I don't catch anything in a little bit, I'll probably go ahead and use a bobber and see if I can't catch some sunfish or panfish with this kit as well. All right, in case you guys were wondering what's inside the Walmart kit, we got a couple of bobbers. We have a couple of weights. I just used one of the weights for that catfish rig. We got swivels. We got a... Uh, stringer we have hooks and a good number of hooks which is nice these would be good size for catfish and panfish we got a nice inline spinner which I think I'll hook up here in a second see if I can't catch anything on it we got some jigs those are also good we got some tube jigs and some other plastics that we'll have to try out here but we should be able to catch some fish with this setup um, I think it's pretty good overall all right, so the fish weren't cooperating tonight, but I did catch one little bluegill. There are quite a few around here. I was fishing for catfish. You can see I just have a little bit of worm. This hook is way too big for bluegill. I was fishing for catfish, but still managed to get one fish. I'm going to go ahead and try a different time, different location. That's all about fishing is the timing location. All right, guys, I think we got a bass on the worm and the, using the Walmart kit. Here we go, not a bad one. All right, it's a nice size little bass and we caught him on the size one hook within this Walmart tackle kit. Had a swivel and a little weight, just fishing on the bottom actually, normally for catfish. But this is a nice bass, really hammered that worm. I will say one thing the kit doesn't come with, which I wish it did, was some needle nose pliers. Luckily I have some with me. You can get them off Amazon for a couple bucks, but that's one of the best ways to get these hooks that are deeply lodged in the fish out. So we'll go ahead and we'll get this hook out and we'll get this fish back in the water. But the tackle kit's working pretty good right now. All right, guys, so real quick, I'm going to grab one of these plastics and go ahead and hook on the jig head. So I'll show you how to do that out of the kit. But basically, the jig head's going to sit about like this. Let me show you guys. So I know right where I need to put the hook in. So right here is where I want to stab that hook in, that jig head in. And there we go. Let's go ahead and try out this little jig. Guys, got one on the plastic. Finally, we can't get them in here. Let's get the hook. And there we go. All right, nice little bass on that plastic, just barely hooked. But I uh, just hooked up the jig. We actually took out the jig head, grabbed the plastic from this tackle box. There's a whole bunch of different plastics in there, and a couple different jig heads. But they work pretty good for crappie and bass. Not a bad little bass. So the Walmart kit, we've caught it on, caught bass on two different lures now and caught bass on their just hooks. All right guys, using the little setup from our Walmart kit with that hook bobber and sinker, we caught a small little channel catfish out of this local creek. 
So I went ahead and changed spots since I wasn't catching anything in the pond and that's critical when you're fishing is always change locations if you're not catching anything. But basically I just have that little bobber from the kit up here and then a little bit down I have a little swivel which I was using just kind of as a weight. And then a couple feet below that I had my hook with my worm and I got a nice little channel. I'll go ahead and get this guy back in the water because he's too small to keep. But this is actually a little creek that flows into the Missouri River. So see if we can't catch anything else with this little kit, maybe using one of the lures. And we'll keep using some of the worms that we got with Walmart with this kit and see if we can't catch some more. Oh, got one guys. Not huge, pretty small, but fun on four pound test line. Nice little bass caught him. I'm casting just parallel to the shore. And so changing to that lure up really helped quite a bit. We'll go ahead and get this guy back in the water. But this shows the importance of changing spots. I was fishing with these same lures and baits at another pond. And then as soon as I switched to a new pond, started catching fish again. So that's the key to fishing. It's just always changing your location, always changing your time, always changing your baits, because you never know when the fish are going to be biting, what they're going to be biting on, or where they're going to be biting. I think I actually snagged one, guys. That was interesting. So uh, I don't know how I caught this bluegill, but uh, maybe he was nibbling at it and got a little bit too close, but uh, definitely didn't get him in the mouth. Let's get him unhooked here and get him back in the water. All right, guys, so with the Walmart setup, that little hook in that worm that I got from Walmart, the bobber, that all came in that kit, caught a nice little bluegill. I'm gonna go ahead and release him. This is on a size one hook. I was using way too big of a piece of worm because I was actually fishing for catfish. But uh, we'll see if we can't get a catfish. I might actually take off the bobber so we stop catching bluegill and maybe we can get some of those bottom catfish. So we'll throw that guy back. Now I'm gonna take off this bobber. We'll fish with just this big piece of worm and I'll thread this on a lot better. I'll show you how I thread my worms. But really you don't want a whole lot of that worm sticking off the hook because otherwise it'll just strip your bait. So let's get it on that hook nice and tight. There we go, we got a nice water worm on that hook. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take off this bobber so I'm less likely to catch those bluegill which are more suspended. And now I'll be more likely to catch a catfish or something that's gonna be feeding on the bottom. All right, of course, as soon as I stopped recording, caught a nice little bass on the tube jig. It's working pretty well. I was using this little jig right here, not catching anything. And the second I switched over to that tube jig, it's just tube jig, I started catching fish, that sunfish, now this bass go ahead and release him hopefully we catch some more but that shows the importance of changing up your lures and the nice thing about this kit there is quite a few different lures I will say I did try out this rooster tail really didn't spin too well wasn't too impressed that's something I'd pick up separately outside of this kit but it does have a nice a fair amount of jigs you can always put one of these jig heads and put on one of the tube jigs but uh, I came with one already pre-rigged up so I'm using that one it also has a marabou jig so I think these are some good options all right guys, so we caught quite a few fish using the Walmart starter kit. We caught a catfish, we caught several bass, and we caught some bluegill and sunfish. So these kits do work. Now, whenever you go to pick up one of these kits, make sure you have one bobbers, two hooks, three some weights, and then four, a few lures. So here they had some good plastics in here. The inline spinner wasn't too impressed with, but I would recommend getting an inline spinner like Blue Fox or Panther Martin. And then the other thing I'd recommend is always getting worms from your local Walmart. That's a great bait. So when you show up to your fishing spot, throw one pole out there with 12 pound test line with worms. Fish the worms either on the bottom for catfish or you can suspend it under a bobber for bluegill and bass. And then with your other pole, you actively fish for bass with one of these lures in here. And the last thing guys, it's also always good to pick up a pair of needle nose pliers. You never know when a fish is gonna swallow the hook. I will go ahead and put a link to buy one of these starter kits on amazon.com in case you don't even wanna to go to the store and just wanna ship right to your house. And so that'll be in the video description, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, best of luck fishing.